What's going on guys? Okay, so I know it's been a while since I covered AMC, but guess what? We have to cover AMC because Applejack's last night at midnight made a life attempt at securing an NFT. Applejack's, how did that go? Yeah, it did not go too well. I stayed up till midnight to try to get these Spider-Man tickets. The website was just crashing. And this morning I was able to grab tickets, but I did not get the NFT. All right, so he did not get the NFT, but Spider-Man No Way Home is all the rage, the most anticipated movie of 2021. And this bodes well for AMC. Why? Because fucking fundamentals. I've said this on Twitter. And I'll say this here, Adam Aaron's job as CEO is to make sure that the health of the company, the system, the mechanics, the revenue is to the upside, makes it appealing to other investors. Our job as apes is to make sure that the hedgies go extinct. Ideally, we want to cause that squeeze with excitement. Now, Adam Aaron does his best by improving the fundamentals of the company, which then, uh, you know, gains interest from institutions and whales and, you know, say, OK, yeah, AMC, an amazing recovery play. We as apes, our job is to buy, hold, buy some more. And when we buy, that leads to FOMO and FOMO leads to the short squeeze. Now, let's go ahead and simplify this because there are a lot of narratives out there on what we should do as apes, as in stop buying the shares and that would help the squeeze and that just really doesn't make a lot of sense to me although i respect the opinions of others keep that in mind i do you gotta buy the stock right let's look at this at midnight on november 29th tickets for the latest marvel cinematic universe film spider-man no way home went on sale crashing domestic movie ticket sites it's a kind of fervor that you know could only be spawned by two things one the anticipation for this film into the exclusive NFT for this film. And it'll be interesting to see how much uh, those NFTs would be going for once they're circulating and changing hands. But now let's go ahead and look at the stock guys because it's December around the corner. And we got to talk about that for a second. We are currently on the minute here and AMC trading at 37.40. Let's go ahead and look at the four hour here. And we could see that AMC broke through this upper trend line to the downside. I would expect through December, a reversal of fortune. Why? You guys could go ahead and fact check me on this. I'll include a link in the description. April, November, and December are usually the strongest months for the stock market with December outperforming all other months in wins versus losses over the past 70 years at or about. So I want you to keep that into perspective. It is known as the Santa Claus effect. It is known as, well, hey, you know, it's the end of the year. You know, we, we want to see our favorite stocks run because then 22 introduces new opportunities and it's pretty much a, a massive reset, right? So everyone just sort of kind of resets their expectation and just gauges on where their favorite stock is going. And January is actually a great time to buy small caps. So January and February is usually small cap season. Why? Because investors are looking for new companies that could turn a massive profit over 12 months. So how does that play into AMC? We talked about AMC with the potential of reaching $52 a share. I would like to see that happen this year. I feel overall sentiment going into 2022 after the 2021 recovery would change dramatically to the upside. Now let's talk about this Omicron variant, COVID variant, AKA the common code. Now, not to downplay it guys, but you know, the market overreacted on Friday uh, based on this variant. And then we get news from South Africa saying, hey, you know, it's just pretty mild. I really feel like 2022 will be the year where we just get over that hump and the fears of COVID, that kind of thing. And we see a full on recovery in the markets. Also, I'm a big fan of tech, NASDAQ. I expect a nice run up in December as well. So if you're following my calls on Twitter, I'm still bullish on the Lucids, the NVIDIAs, the AMDs, and Microsoft. So keep that in mind. If you're not following me on Twitter, make sure you guys follow me on Twitter because, well, it's December, it's Christmas, and green's my favorite color. So get those green ink printers ready, guys, because we're going to make our Christmas present money. Anyways, 
absolutely bullish on AMC. How do you feel about this, Apple Jacks? We are bullish. How bullish? Very. Yeah, he's got uh, titanium crusted nuts. We're still working on those diamond encrusted nuts, but he's there. Let's root for Apple Jacks. Anyways, guys, this is Gabe with the V Dork. I am signing out. It's cooking hooker season. Peace.